All right, so let's learn our minor bar chord pattern two. So we just learned this one. Very useful. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to basically replicate, if you remember the A minor that chord that we learned in the open position, looks like that. We're going to take that same uh, pattern. This time I'm going to play it with, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to play it with my first three fingers, I'm going to play it with my last three. So I'm going to play it with my middle finger here. So I'm going to push down on the first uh, fret, second string with my middle finger. Then I'm going to take my pinky and I'm going to go to the second fret, third string. Then I'm going to take my ring finger and I'm going to push down also on the second fret, but it's going to be on the fourth string. So I, I'm basically I'm just playing that A minor chord. Just I'm just leaving my uh, pointer finger out of it. And the reason why, I think you know, is if we slide that all up uh, one notch, push down with our uh, our pointer finger all the way across the bar, we have now created an A sharp minor chord. And we can continue that so we can create a B minor chord, and a C minor chord, and a C sharp minor chord, and a D minor chord. So you can see that that's our second pattern. It's exactly the same as the A minor. We're just letting our pointer finger again substitute as the nut and create that bar for us. Now it's important to point out with this, you're not playing all six strings with this. You're playing five strings, but you're not playing the bottom sixth string. Just the same exact uh, thing that you do if you're playing the A minor down here. You're not playing all six. Well, it's the same concept. Uh, you're just moving it up, up and down the neck. So now you have two different um, uh, minor bar chord patterns. You can play this way, and you can play this way. And you can make the saddest sound in the world just by playing minor bar chords all up and down the neck. But at least now you have a, a whole slew of options. So you can play, you have two different major uh, bar chord patterns and two minor bar chord patterns. And these patterns, by the way, it, you know, if you really get these down and conceptually uh, understand what's going on and are able to grab chords quickly, so if somebody says, you know, D minor, you just know that it's on the, you know, it's this pattern on the fifth fret, barring the fifth fret. You're going to be able to uh, play just about any song, and, and, and these are kind of stock um, patterns that you're going to use over and over again uh, throughout your duration of playing. So, so practice them and learn, memorize where those chords are.